quick video on shorthand formulas for differentiation and integration. So I'll start uh, with notation. So if you have something in the form of y equals a function of x, so f of x, for example, you can write the differential of it as f dash of x dy over dx. There's also the Newton's notation for differentials, uh, which is just y dot and then y dot dot. Uh, and then after that, I think you start using Roman numerals, but this isn't really used for, you know. As you go to second or third, fourth, fifth order differentials, um, if with this notation, you just go ff of x, that's the second order, third order, f dash 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 of x. And then as you keep increasing, you use numbers instead of dashes, as it just gets too big. But unless you're doing further maths, you won't really see anything fourth order or below. dy over dx, you get d squared y over dx squared. And these numbers just keep increasing, d cubed y over dx mm -hmm. cubed, so and so. We'll start with the chain rule for differentiation. This one's useful for um, expanding things, especially when the powers get higher. Instead of having to expand the entire thing out, you can differentiate it using something called the chain rule. So you start with the power, you multiply everything by the power, you can put it in brackets if you want. And then now you differentiate the inside of this function over here, so dif the differential of x plus 3 is just 1. And now you copy the inside of that function down, x plus 3, and you just chain the power from 3 and you subtract 1 from it, so you get 2. And you can just simplify that down, 3 x plus 3 squared. And that works for everything in this form over here. So if you had something like x squared plus 3 to the power of 5, first thing we do, multiply everything by the power. Second thing, differentiate the inside, get 2x over here. And after that, just copy this down, x squared plus 3, subtract 1 from the power and we get 4. The next method is something called a product rule, and this is especially useful if you have two functions that are multiplied together by each other. So if you have something like y equals x plus 2x, you can differentiate both of these terms independently and just add them together. But if you have two things multiplied by each other, for example, for example x minus 2, x minus 3, we can also differentiate this without having to expand it. Although this is simple, a lot of times you will get functions that are a lot more complicated than this. So for product rule, all you do is label these functions u and v. It doesn't really matter which one you label u and v, and like some other methods which we'll show later. And write u down, so u equals x minus 2, v equals x minus 3. And now we'll write u dash, which is the differential of this. So the differential of this is just 1, and the differential of this, uh, sorry, this is v dash. The differential of this is also just 1. Now the formula that we use is u dash v plus v dash u. And you just multiply these together, just crisscross. So you have 1x minus 2 plus 1x minus 3. Slightly harder example, but again, label both the functions. We'll call this one u, call this one v. It doesn't really matter which is which. So u is 2x squared. u dash is just a differential of that, which is 4x. We'll do v equals x plus 1v dash. Differentiate that and you just get 1. And again, crisscross, just multiply both together. So we get 1, 2x squared, plus 4x multiplied by x plus 1. Uh, in exam conditions, you will probably also need to expand this out and simplify them. For example, we've got these two terms over here. You'll probably want to take them out of the brackets and multiply them together. With both of these functions, it is still possible to differentiate this by expanding it and then differentiating it as you would normally. So I'm going to show you a slightly more difficult example that you wouldn't really be able to do without. So let's consider y equals x sine x. So these are two functions multiplied by each other. This one over here, this one over here, you can label them whichever way you want. You can't differentiate this the normal way because they're two separate functions. If you didn't trigonometric differentiation before, uh, then you'll know where this differentiation integrates to. If not, quickly draw the table to the side. So when you're differentiating, you go down this list. When you're integrating, you go up this list. So let's start with u, which is just x v dash equals 1. Then v equals sine x. And v dash is just cos x. And again, crisscross. So x cos x plus 1 sine x. Simplify that down. We get x cos x plus sine x. Another quick example with something called the quotient rule, and this rule is useful for differentiation things when you have them in the form of a fraction, like this one. With this rule, it does matter which one you label u and v. The top one over here is always u, 
and your bottom one, the one at the denominator, is always v. So let's copy that out. g equals 5x plus 1, v equals 3x minus 4. And as usual, do u dash and v dash, which for this one is just 5x, sorry, 5, and for this one it's just 3. The rule for this is also slightly different. It is u dash v, take away v dash u over v squared. And as usual, plug everything into the formula. So u dash 5, v3x minus 4. Subtract v dash u, which is 3, 5x plus 1. And all of this over v squared, which is 3x minus 4 squared. You can simplify all of this down. And you should get 15x minus 4 times 5, which is 20. Take away 15x. Take away 3 times 1. So subtract 3. And all of this over v squared. And solve that, simplify it down, and eventually you should get negative 23 over 3x minus 4 squared if you simplified it down, but that's what you get by um, expanding this out. The shorthand formula are just a bit easier to remember and write down and make your working out look a little neater. And they work really well for differentiation as you don't have a whole lot of manipulation with the variables. With integration, you do have a bit more. For example, integration by pass when you have u, etc. Or integration by substitution. But again, there's tricks you can use for these to make them a lot simpler to do, but that's a topic for a different video. What I'll quickly cover in this video is differentiating e to the x. Um, and simply, differentiating this gives you the exact same thing, e to the x. Uh, integrating it also gives you e to the x. But this doesn't extend to all scenarios. If I had e to the x, what would happen here? So, in general, e to the stuff is stuff dash. Stuff dash times by e to the stuff. Let's do a few examples. e to the 2x. So what's our stuff? The stuff is 2x. What's the differential of 2x? Just 2. Now let's multiply it by the exact same thing over here, which is e to the 2x. And that is just e 2e to the 2x. This extends for different scenarios too. So if we have e to the x squared, exactly the same method. Differentiate stuff, x squared x squared differentiates to 2x, multiply by e to the x squared, and we get 2x e to the x squared. And one last quick thing we'll do is differentiating things that have ln uh, with stuff inside. And this is simply stuff dash over stuff. Let's go through a few examples. Let's start with something simple. What if we just had ln? x how do we differentiate this so what's our stuff the stuff is just x so you know it's over x what's at the top stuff dash simply just one so ln x differentiates to one over x let's go through a different example let's try ln 3x plus 5 and we so we know it's over 3x plus 5 and when we differentiate it we do get simply 3 Let's try another one. Let's try ln x squared. So, stuff dash is 2x, and the stuff inside it is x squared. And when you do integration, you can also reverse this to integrate things uh, as a function of ln. Uh, for example, if you had something in the form of, like, let's say, x squared plus 3, x plus 1, because this is just the derivative of that, you can write it as a function of ln, but again, this is something I'll cover in detail in another video.